In this video, we'll be solving question number 3 from exercise 7b of ratio and proportion. Find the value of x in a given proportion. We'll be solving these particular sums in this session. Earlier, we have solved sums related to check if the given numbers are in proportion or not. The concept that we used is that product of means is equal to product of extremes. If both the values are same, then we say the given numbers are in proportion. We have solved a couple of sums related to check if the given number are in proportion. If you are yet to watch those videos, the link is given in the description below. Kindly have a look at those particular videos before you try to solve this sum. The very first question we have is 42 is to 12 is as 7 is to x. You need to find the value of x given that these numbers are in proportion. When do we say the numbers are in proportion? When product of means is equal to product of extremes or product of extremes is equal to product of means. We are going to use the same concept here to find the value of x since they have given that the numbers are in proportion. I always prefer to have my x onto the left hand side because it avoids confusion. So x is in the fourth place, isn't it? That is in the extreme position. So let me take product of extremes and equate it to product of means. So, 42 into x is equal to 12 into 7, where 12 and 7 are the means, that is the second and third term, and 42 and x are the extremes. Now, x is equal to 12 into 7 by 42. The multiplicative form of 42 becomes division form of 42 when it comes to the other side of the equation. 7 times 1 is 7 and 7 times 6 is 42 and 6 times 1 is 1 and 6 times 2 is 12. So, x is equal to 2. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 2. Irrespective of the position of x, when they say they are in proportion, we just need to equate product of extremes equal to product of means or product of means equal to product of extremes to find the missing value. The second sum that we have is 1.8 is to x is as 2.4 is to 6. We need to find the value of x given that the numbers are in proportion. Now if you notice carefully, x is in the mean position. So I would be equating it as product of means is equal to product of extremes. See, as I said, you can do it either ways, but it is always easier to have x onto the left hand side. So what is my product of means? x into 2.4, the second multiplied with the third term that is x into 2.4 is equal to product of extremes 1.8 into 6 that is the first and the fourth term. So x is equal to 1.8 into 6 divided by 2.4. The multiplicative form of x gets into the division form. So 2.4 which is in the multiplicative form becomes a division form. So I have 1.8 into 6 by 2.4. 6.0 or 6 are one and the same that is the reason I have removed that 0.0. Now, to remove the decimal, the numerator has got one decimal place and the denominator has got one decimal place as well. So, we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 10 to remove the decimal. We have 18 into 6 divided by 24. 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 4 is 24 and 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 9 is 18. So, we have 9 by 2 which is equal to 4.5. So, the value of x is equal to 4.5. Moving on to our third question, we have 6 is to 0 0.8 is as x is to 10, given that the numbers are in proportion and we need to find the value of x. x is in the mean position here because x is the third term. So I'm going to equate product of means is equal to product of extremes. So I have 0 0.8 into x is equal to 6 into 10. So x is equal to 6 into 10 by 0 0.8. The multiplicative form of point, uh, 0 0.8 becomes division when it comes to the other side of the equation. Remember, when you remove the decimal, the, both the numerator and denominator has to be multiplied with multiples of 10 depending upon the decimal place. If the denominator has two decimal places, then both numerator and denominator has to be multiplied with 100. Here, we have one decimal place. So we are going to multiply both the numerator and denominator by 10 to remove the decimal. So now we have 6 into 10 into 10 divided by 0 0.8 into 10, which is 60 into 10 by 8. 
So 8 and 60 is directly divisible by 4. So 4 twos are 8, 4 ones are 4, 4 fives are 20. And uh, 2 and 10 can be cancelled using 2. 2 ones are 2, 2 fives are 10. So 15 into 5 is 75. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 75. I hope the sum is clear. In case you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. We'll certainly try and respond. Hope this video helped you to learn something new today. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. Take care and bye-bye.